What's up YouTube, it's T-Money. Let's try this one more time. This is like the fifth time I've tried this. This, we're doing college football week six with Michael to this week. We don't know, uh, he says, sup. And we've already been through half of the ranking matchups this week, almost. So we're just gonna gun through them real quick until we get to the matchup we were just talking about. So first- uh, 52 to uh, 28. I have UCF winning, but I can't. But UC Cincinnati, UCF Cincinnati was the matchup. I have UCF winning, but I won't count Cincinnati out for the upset. Me and him both have. We both have LSU. I only remember what you predicted for score. What did you predict for score in LSU? I'm big yeah, I thought you did. I don't remember. That's why I don't usually do scores. Um, moving on, Oklahoma, Kansas. Uh, I actually have Kansas in an upset, especially with Les Miles. What did you say, Michael? I got Oklahoma winning. Yeah, I got Kansas in the upset because Les Miles, new cut, new head coach. He's already got two wins. Only three losses, but, I mean, can't turn it around. Uh, we both have Wisconsin beating Kent State. Big. Uh, we, I, we both have Penn State beating Purdue. And then to the matchup we were on is Oklahoma State, Texas Tech. Uh, he, he has Oklahoma State only by three points. I'm looking at the matchup. A history and oh my gosh it's close they have played I'm counting it up right here 40 three, they have played 46 times Texas Tech has won 22 of those Oklahoma has won 21 there has been three official ties in that series but since we no longer play ties um, Oklahoma, Texas Tech pulling off the win last year, 41-17. I'm going to give Texas Tech the win again this year. It's in Texas Tech this year, so. I'm giving them. Here's a good matchup. First top 10 matchup of the week, Auburn and Florida. That's a hard one because they're both good teams. Auburn's favored by two and a half points. So that means that anyone can win this game. I'm looking up the matchup here. Okay. So, the uh, these two teams have faced each other over 50 times. Auburn has won 43 of 43. The most recent matchup was 2011, 17 to 6. Auburn won. I'm saying Auburn. Let's go 28 to 24. No, 28. No. What the heck am I trying to think? Uh, good single. Um, I'm watching baseball too. Um, <laughs> Yeah, at the time of this recording, the uh, Cardinals are taking on the Braves. Uh, right at, the, at this point in the video, it's one nothing Braves and the NLDS. Um, I got Auburn. Let's go thirty twenty seven. I'm giving Florida the win by a field goal because it's all because it's in Florida. It's just flipped. Huh? So you said by a field goal, I said by a field goal. Yeah. What? Notre Dame, what? Bowling Green. I don't think we don't even need to say who's going to win this game. Well, the percentage for match predictor right now is Notre Dame 99.6 to Bowling Green 0.4%. Jesus, God. Yeah, I'm going Notre Dame. Sorry. I've got Notre Dame all the way. Next up, the another another Big Notre Twelve. Dame. Go ahead. Notre Dame's a forty-five point is a forty point forty-five point um, forty-five and a half point favorite. Yeah. 
How about we? How about we take the? Yeah, I got Notre Dame too. Wait, Notre Dame's only loss was to Georgia. I, I said um, I was talking Bowling Green. Oh, okay. Next up, how about we take a, take me home to Country Roads as Texas comes in to West Virginia to take on the Mountaineers. Bad segue, I know. Um, who do you got in this one? What? Didn't catch that. Yo. What? Focus. What? Sorry. Texas Long the Texas Longhorns takes the country roads up to West Virginia to take on the Mountaineers. Match up predictor gives Texas a seventy five and a seventy five point eight percent victory. Texas, yeah. Um, I'm going. I'm going. Um, to. I'm going Texas for forty two, West Virginia twenty eight one. I'm gonna give it to Texas on this one. Texas has got Texas has got some firepower, and if they can exploit that secondary that of West Virginia, then that this game's over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm dropping statistical reasons on this. All right, next I'm dropping some statistical some statistics on this one. Alright, we are now into the evening games. We have Georgia, Tennessee. Yeah, Georgia. And I'm sorry, Falls, you ain't winning another game this year. If you pull off the upset in this one, me and Michael will both be surprised. I got Georgia winning this one big. Okay. Another top twenty five matchup, Battle of the Big Battle of Big Ten Powerhouses, Michigan State, Ohio State. That's a scary game. They have Ohio State winning. Ohio State's favored by 20 points. Yeah, the match predictor says 89.6 to 10.4. Jesus. And we have and there's an old Valley High School uh quarterback on that team that's really itching for a big win. What's that? Uh oh god, what's his name? Bethard, I think? Bethard? No. Oh, God. That's oh, Rocky Lombardi. Oh, Rocky Lombardi plays Michigan Yeah, Rocky Lombardi plays on Michigan State. You didn't know that? No, I don't think they can. They've got, um, what does that say? Passing they've leader. The money line. I don't know what the money line is, but they've got Ohio State negative 1,400. I don't pay attention to that one. I'm giving I'm giving Ohio State the win. It's a, it'll be close though. I got Ohio State. Next up, Tulsa goes to Southern Methodist after a huge, huge win against the Texas Christian Longhorns. Actually, against the UC, uh, they beat TCU. And then they beat USF, and now SMU is ranked. Um, I got SMU, but I got it's gonna be a it's gonna be a small game. It's not gonna be a big game. It's not gonna be a big score. Unless SMU unless, unless SMU comes out of nowhere and just destroys, it's gonna be a close game. The matchup predictor on ESPN has eighty two percent to eighteen percent. I'm gonna give it to SMU. Because SMU's actually got a really good team this year. Oh, they beat number 25, TCU, when they were ranked. Usually ranked teams are the ones that always wins. But those those upsets are always there and available. Uh, next up, we got California and Oregon. Uh... California's got a really good team this year. Like it's like not even a it's you don't even need to question it. I'll 
I've got California upsetting Oregon. You have the California Golden Bears upsetting the Ducks. That's a shock. Well, California just actually lost to Arizona State, who actually all, who the, the same Arizona State team that beat Michigan State. I'm going to give it to California, too. If California can exploit some defensive errors that every team always usually get, has every game, uh, this game is over. I give it a field goal. Give me a second. Give me a second. My dad's calling me. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Uh, Michael's got to take a quick phone call. Welcome back for the break. Uh, we've got a couple more games to do. We have uh, next game up, we have the Washington Huskies and the Stanford Cardinal. Um, if you need to sit down, you can. I don't care. If you're in the video, I don't care. Um, who do you got, Michael? Um, I'm just gonna eat it, so give me a second. So, um, I'm oh, sorry, this is gonna be a close game. I'm saying, I got Washington, let's go, uh, 28 28 24. Matchup Predictor has Washington beating the Cardinals 78.2 to 21.8. I'm gonna give it to Washington. Washington's just has the power. Washington's the powerhouse, one of the powerhouses in the Pac-12 now. All right, final ranked matchup of the week. Actually, two more ranked matchups because we're gonna do the Iowa teams too. We have the Boise State Broncos hitting the road to take on the UNLV. What are they called again? UNLV, I want to say Gamblers. Rebels, UNLV, UNLV, UNLV Rebels. Okay, so the Rebels and the and the Broncos. As a Broncos, as a Boise State Broncos fan, I have to give my Broncos the win. Well, I can't argue that because freaking um, Boise State Broncos are trash. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 93.3% to 6.7%. If that's what you're, oh my goshing. No, the quarterback for the Broncos has a thousand hundred ninety yards. To the the Rebels quarterback, who only has three hundred ninety three passing yards. Oh, she's us. And that's that's on forty one attempts. Yeah, but the Broncos quarterback has more attempts. <clears throat> so I've got Boise State on that. I got Boise State too. All right, now we're on to the local schools. We're gonna do again. We're gonna do Iowa last. So the that's my game of the week. Give me a break. So next up we have the huh? I don't find Iowa State because I don't even see Iowa State on here. I can I I can just tell you the matchup right here. With the Iowa State Cyclones take on the TCU Horn Frogs. They're actually favored by the matchup predictor this week. Because TCU does not have that good of a game. Or that good of a team. And Iowa State coming off a two-point loss to Baylor. Which, they played a great game. Just Baylor just outplayed us. Big time. I don't know. I got... I don't like Iowa State, but... Iowa State's favored um, by three and a half points. Just a heads up. Uh, I've got Iowa State. Let's just say 21... No. 28-24. I'm giving Iowa State the win. That'd be their second... That'd be TCU's second straight loss at Jack Trice Stadium. I'm going to... It's going to be a much higher score than the last time TCU was in town. I'm going to give it 21-14. That's Next, a low scoring game, though. Yeah. yeah, I know. The last time that TCU was in town, it was a really low scoring game. It was only 14 7. My favorite game. Um, we got one more before that. You have the Youngstown, you have, you have Youngstown State 
Penguins at the University of Northern Iowa Panthers. You, I have the game in front of me, so just, so you're good. Um, I'm gonna I'm pulling it up, so give me just a moment. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so my laptop's been ha is having issues right now. Uh, so the matchup we were just talking about is the Youngstown State Penguins take on the UN the Northern Iowa Panthers. Michael has the Panthers winning. I'm also gonna have the Panthers winning because they're the ones that are actually ranked in the FCS. And now, the matchup of the week, we have the Iowa Hawkeyes going to the big house to take on the Wolverines. Michael, I know you're a Hawkeye fan, but do you believe that they can go in and beat Michigan? Yeah, they beat them last year. I say they don't. Here's the reason. I don't think Iowa can... I don't think Iowa's ready for the big house yet this year. It's too early in the year for the, for them to be playing Michigan. Yes, they've came off of wins. Of They're on a four-game winning streak. Undefeated right Iowa now. By field goal. Huh? I've got Iowa 21-17 field goal. You have Iowa winning by a field goal? Yeah. I have Michigan winning by a touchdown. By what? I have Michigan winning by a touchdown. And hold on, I want to make sure. I think that's I think that's the schedule right there. I think that's it for the week. I believe that's it. Hang on. Okay, last thing before we wrap this up. Michigan is actually favored for the matchup predictor, sixty-two point one to thirty-seven point nine percent. Michigan is favored by three and a half points. I'm actually going to give them a touchdown victory. I mean, Michigan is really, really good. They're one of they're one of like maybe five powerhouses in the Big Ten. All right, and that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna actually do another video here later on, uh, maybe today if this video gets uploaded today. If not tomorrow, if this video gets uploaded tomorrow. Uh, uh, do you want to say bye, Michael? Aren't you live streaming tonight? Oh yeah, I am doing a live stream tonight. So I'm gonna be doing the live stream on the Thursday night football game between the Rams and the Seahawks. Uh, I will actually do my my NFL predictions during that game. Include so stay tuned for that. And do you want to say bye before we sign off, Michael? Deuces. And that's it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys next week when we do week seven. Peace out, guys.